Hi everyone, Jake with Two Grim, and today I'd like to walk you through our Commitment of Traders Summary Report. Now we send this report out typically on Fridays as it's released by the CFTC, and we'll send it out on Twitter. If you can follow us at Two Grim ETFs, you'll see that the tables are captured in uh, snapshots here. You can get the report by clicking on the image. Of course, we also have a link, and when you follow that link, it will bring you directly to our website where you can get the report there. If you are on our website, tukriam.com, you can find it under News and Insights. And just scrolling down, you see the Commitment of Trader Summary. You click Read, View Attached Document, and it takes a second, but here you go. There it populates. Okay, so again, this report is issued by the CFTC, it is typically coming out on Fridays. If there's a holiday, it will be delayed until Monday. And this report is showing the trades position as of the prior Tuesday. So again, the report comes out on Friday, but it's showing the market's position as of Tuesdays. Now, what we're looking at is the net position of long and short traders, okay? So a trader is long, if they've bought a futures contract with the expectation it's going to go up in value, a trader is short. If they've sold that contract with the expectation that it's going down in value. Okay, what we want to see is the net positioning of these two traders. Now, we're most interested in the net non-commercial and the net index trader categories. Net non-commercial simply means that this is a speculative trader. A commercial trader would be someone like General Mills. They're buying grain because they need to make cereal. They're an end user for, for grains. Speculative traders might be hedge funds and other institutional traders um, who are not end users, but are, are speculating on the price to make a trading profit. So we want to look at the net non-commercial traders, but also the net index traders. And the index traders are uh, people who are expressing their views on these markets using indexed funds, such as Tukrium ETFs. Uh, our corn fund, for example, is a passively traded index fund that is long corn futures. And so it makes sense that Tukrium would fall under that net index category. Looking at the snapshot itself, it's simply a week over week comparison of those two categories, the speculative traders, the non-commercial traders, and the index traders. So this is the report as of uh, last Friday, okay? We're recording this on December the 15th. So this came out last Friday. And we see that there was a net long position in the corn markets of 242,978 contracts. Again, to be clear, that was the amount of contracts held by the net non-commercial speculative traders. That was an increase versus last week of 21,334 contracts. The index traders, actually decreased the number of long contracts outstanding by 5,261. Okay, and you can see that 425,782 versus the week prior was 431,043. Uh, okay, so a decrease in longs there. Right now, there's actually a net short position in the wheat markets uh, when you're looking at the speculative traders, the net non-commercial long shorts. Uh, that net short position is 21,337 contracts. That's actually a decrease in the number of short contracts uh, versus last week. So th there was an improvement, more longs, 718 contracts, um, new longs showed up versus the prior week. Uh, and you can see, however, that the net index traders in wheat um, you know, decreased their longs, but there is still a... a positive long 116,678 contracts there. Okay. So every week we'll put this out uh, when the COT is released. And hopefully that helps you get an idea of what the positioning is in the markets. Any questions, feel free to connect with us um, at Two Grim ETFs on Twitter, or certainly subscribe to our newsletter on our website, uh, twogrim.com. Thank you.